Our street stocks beginning to roll into position. For their 50 lap main event. Looks, looks like the pace car is going to pull away, which means we're going back to racing. 10 down, 40 to go for Terry Armstrong Jr. in the number 56. All right, here comes Armstrong Jr. He'll be tasked with taking him across the start finish line. The gas is hit there, and here they come. Armstrong now down into one. Wash got a bit loose, but got a nice job of connect, correcting it as the 96 car Garber making a nice move down on the inside. Boy, this Garber is fast and what is really good handle on his race car. Here he comes, Garber across the line by a nose over Armstrong in the 56. That's a battle I've seen quite a bit of between those two drivers, Armstrong and Terry, or Armstrong and Garber. That is an absolute great battle every time I see it. As Casey Garber's gotten to the front and I was talking to him last night he said he was very, very, very confident in his car this afternoon. It wasn't quite that uh, PG, but... <laughs> it works for me. But you get the point. Tanner Dates looking good in the third spot, followed by John Shukar in the 88. Then we go back to Brad Thomas. Keep an eye on that five car because Brad Thomas, always a rocket ship on the three eights. And Bart Hector Jr., with a podium finish last night, and as uh, you just, say that, my boy Brad Thomas just went completely flat coming out of turn number two, so he will try and nurse that number five car. We'll see if he takes the exit. He didn't do it that time. I thought he might take that. Oh, we got a problem. Jack Lamb around in turn three there. Oh, Jack Lamb in that number 62, as Greg mentioned.